What's going on, fellas? It's your boy King Dre, and I'm coming at y'all again with another one. Today, we're gonna talk about how to spot a woman in her whole phase. That's right. How to tell if she's an active slut, man. One of the main, one of the main mistakes guys make in this game, in this dating game, is trying to turn a hoe into a house housewife. And we all know that if you put lipstick on a pig, you try to put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. You put a wig on a pig, it's still a pig. But um. Yeah, man, so we're going to get into that, man. But first, like the video real quick. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. All right, so let's jump into it. What is a hoe, right? A hoe is basically, to me, right? A hoe is, and, and, and this ain't a bad thing. Like, a woman it, it going through a whole phase of, you know, doing her little thing out here, that ain't really, you know, ain't, ain't no judgment over here. I love them all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, but anyway, a hoe is pretty much a woman having sex with more than one dude at a time, you know? Or it could be anything that would make you, right? Anything that you would make you. If your girl told you something and it kind of it make your stomach turn, that's hoeing, you know what I'm saying? Getting a little wild out here. So that's what basically what a hoe is. And it's not to judge or put down. It's just, this, this what I'm doing is simply to just help you see what you, you know, what you need to see. If, you, if you're trying to look for a relationship or you're dealing with a girl and, you know, you don't want to end up turning no horn to no housewife, man, because what happens is you can't stop, you know, you can't stop people from doing what they want to do. If a, if a woman is in a phase in her life to where she want to experience different men, there's nothing you can do to stop that. Not a ring, not no money, not trying to put handcuffs on her or, or lock the box down. There's nothing you can do. And a lot of guys make that mistake and they end up getting cheated on. But that's pretty much a whole man, a, a woman that's, you know, doing dicks, man, jump, playing musical dicks. So, you know what I'm saying? The whole phase pretty much, man, for a woman is about fun, attention, and validation, right? Having fun while getting as much male attention as possible, you know what I'm saying? And possi possibly from, you know, a, as much male attention as possible from preferably the alpha males, you know what I'm saying? And in order to secure that attention, they have to come up off that pussy. You know what I'm saying? Some of the times. In order for them to, in order for them to get the attention that they desire, they got to come up off some. You know what I'm saying? They got to fuck for it a lot of the times. You know. And the more attention she, uh, the more attention she she seeks, is the more she gonna fuck. So understand that, right? And the attention and the validation can be gifts. You know, it, it could be dates. It could be money. Whatever. But attention seeking women usually the side effect of that is dick so and when women are att uh, seeking attention the whole phase is pretty much about seeking attention right getting attention from guys but like I say the side effect of seeking that attention is fucking so that's what happens when a woman goes through a whole phase and pretty much majority of women the most women gonna go through a whole phase in, in America at least most women are going to go through a whole phase. I would I would say 95% of women gonna go through a whole phase. Some might, some may not be extreme as others. Some may not, uh, you know, some some women may extremely slut it up and just fuck everything that move. But most women will do things, right? If you ask your girlfriend, most women have done things that will make you uncomfortable. That's what I mean. So, and most women are gonna go through that. But let's get into the signs, right? Let's get into the signs, right? Sign number one is she hangs out at clubs a lot, you know, every other weekend or every weekend or multiple times a week, right? People in clubs are pretty much looking for other people, right? From They looking for attention from the opposite sex. Understand that. People that, 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 that frequent clubs a lot are, like guys that go to clubs, dudes that go to clubs, they looking for hoes, period. Niggas that go to clubs are looking for women. And I'm talking about the guys that's in there every week. Now, sometimes you have women, you know, you'll see a woman in the club, but just because she's in the club don't mean she's looking for attention necessarily because sometimes you'll have a group of women who may go out together um, and, and, and a few women get dragged alone in the group. But understand, the ringleader of, like, the ringleader of that group <laughs> is on to something. So understand that. So if you see, uh, if, if you got a chick that you're dealing with and you're getting a note and she's out in the clubs all the fucking time or, or out on the scene all the time, she more than likely going through a whole phase. That, that attention shit, you know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, birth control. What's the, what's the point of birth control if you ain't fucking? Understand that? Now, just because a woman ain't on birth control don't mean she ain't out here on some whole shit. Number three, wearing no panties. 
easy, it's easy access on a subconscious level. Easy access. If you see a woman that's 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 if you if you getting to know a woman and she always always like every time you see her she ain't got no panties on. That's a subconscious way of saying I'm easy. You know what I'm saying? Easy access to the ass. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me on that one, man. Trust me on that one. That's number three. She often, often, a lot of, most of the time, she don't wear panties. And don't let them run that, oh, it's uncomfortable, panties are uncomfortable. That's because that's the excuse that they give, right? But it is what it is, right? Number four, and this is, pay attention to this one. She's often dressed to attract, right? She's dressed, the way she dresses, majority of the time is to attract male attention right that's showing skin cleavage uh skin tight clothing lash lashes the eyelashes and the makeup you know what i'm saying lipstick all of these things all of this this stuff it, she knows will attract men to her and um she can get attention from men by dressing sexy or or, or provocative or or revealing and, and done up right and look at it this way the same way i tell you guys the same way guys who they keep their hair cut they keep their shit smelling good they keep their body in shape they keep their, their clothes flying crisp to attract women when women do the same thing it's the same thing when women do it right guys are doing this shit haircut smelling good cologne crisp you know what i'm saying fly to the teeth Guys do this shit to attract women. Women, on the other hand, do the same thing to attract men. So when you see a woman that's always dressed up, always got on lashes and lipstick and, and, and uh, makeup and skin tight cleavage and shit like this, understand that she's doing this for male attention, right? And you, we know what comes with male attention. Now, number five is constant sex appeal. She's sexy all of the time. And this kind of ties into number four, but it's, it's a, um, you know, it's an energy. It's a sexual energy. Like when you were around a woman that's fucking sexy as fuck, this energy, if she's in this in this energy all the time, she's more than likely in a whole phase. And when I say sexy, it's not necessarily sexy and sex appeal is past the physical. It's the energy. The same way I tell you, you know, a lot of the dating coaches teach guys, you know, sex appeal, sex appeal, sex appeals. Well, women have sex appeal too. And it's not like, oh, I look at her, she's attractive, she's cute. It's when you look at her and you're around her, it's, it's a sexy vibe. You know what I'm saying? If a woman is in that constant state of a sexy vibe, that's more than likely the signs of a whole fade. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe that it constantly turns you on. You know what I'm saying? Now, when women are in a regular state, like when they not in this sexy vibe, women will dress, and this will tie into number four too, um, the dress to attract thing. But when a woman is, you know, she's not in a whole phase, or she's not in an attention seeking, she'll dress down, she'll dull, she'll dull herself down. She'll almost become more masculine, to wear her hair back in a ponytail, wear hoodies. You know, she not walking sexy, she walking straight and upright. And that's when a woman gets relaxed. And if you look at relationships a lot of the time, when women get comfortable in relationships, they turn that sex appeal off, right? They turn that sex, sex appeal off and they kind of relax a little bit. They don't put on the makeup as much. They're not as sexy. They, they, their voice is not as soft and feminine to attract men. When you see a woman that's constantly in sexy mode all of the time, this is what this is, man. This is more than likely a whole phase. So understand that. Number six. Her phone is popping, and you know her phone is popping, and she'll try to hide this by keeping her phone on silent all the time. So if you see a bitch phone on silent all the time, or her phone be popping all the time, that's niggas hitting her up, and that's them DMs and shit that's popping. You know what I'm saying? All that Snapchat and all that shit. So understand that the phone is popping or the phone is on silent. Number seven, right? She don't have much going for herself as far as school or career or even kids and shit, but her time is scarce. Like she can, she's hard to catch up with. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got shit popping, right? But she hard to get up with you. She hard, she always on the go. She always on the move. But when you look at the things that you know that she got going on in her life, they don't add up. She ain't in school. She ain't really got no no decent job like that. She just she just be gone. She with dudes, my man. You know what I'm saying? She hanging out, having fun with guys. That's what that is. So pay attention to that. That's another uh, another sign that guys often miss. You know what I'm saying? Always on the go, hard to catch up with, but ain't got shit going on. You know, that's number seven. Number eight, this is a good one. She's emotionally detached, right? And non-affectionate when y'all having sex. Women, 
for the most part are affectionate when they're having sex with you. And um, for the most part, they want to connect with you emotionally while they have sex. You know what I'm saying? Sex ain't it's just a... A lot of the times with women, sex ain't just like it is with us. We just want to hit that ass. Women want to connect with you emotionally. You know what I'm saying? And they want to be affectionate. And if she's not affectionate with you during sex, if she if she's attracted to you enough to let you fuck her and she's not affectionate, she probably more than likely is fucking more than, more than you. It's probably more than you. And it's either she's not affectionate with you and she's reserving that for somebody else or she turned that switch off completely and she's just having fun. She don't want to be affectionate. She just want to fuck and dip. So if, if you if you fucking her, you know, more often than not, and she's detached emotionally and, you know, and she doesn't want to be affectionate or kiss or shit like that, then that's more than likely she's in a whole phase and she's doing dicks. And number nine, this is this is important. She's a junkie, right? She an alcoholic or she a she a junkie. That's weed, that's Percocets, that's that's um, sn snorting powder, all of this shit. Pain medicine, alcohol, wine every night. If she's a junkie, she's more than likely she's more than likely um, you know she's more than likely in the whole phase now. People, you know, who self-medicate through drugs or drink are trying to numb or escape, right? And most of the time, women who self-medicate like that, women who self-medicate like that are numbing the pain or, or, or numbing the anxiety that comes from hoeing. Multiple dicks give women anxiety, for real. It gives them panic and anxiety and depression and all of this shit. And what most people do is they turn to drugs and alcohol. So if you see a woman that drinks all the time or that smokes a lot of weed, and I'm not talking about recreational, but if you got a woman who, who smokes weed every day, all day, buy her weed, she got a weed man that go buy it and all that type of shit, this is normally is from anxiety or she's numbing something and more than likely i'm not saying it can't be trauma or or pain from past but more than likely bro it's from a whole phase whole phases give women anxiety <laughs> you know what i'm saying women have anxiety jumping from dick to dick to dick to dick it gives women anxiety depression low self-esteem all of this shit so when you see this and you see a woman self uh self-medicating like that that's probably what that is right now with this one too, it may be a war scar. So, it, it, and it may be a bad habit that has stuck on. So you may see a woman and she, she's, she drinks a lot or she's an alcoholic, but she may not necessarily be in an active hoe phase. So like the number nine and drinking and smoking and, sh and, and, and drugs, drug abuse and shit like that is, is pretty much, it can be the sign that she's active right now, but it could be that this is from habits picked up from a prior you know from from her past life or from her past you know what i'm saying so she she started drinking or smoking weed every day to cope with the lifestyle that she was living um but then she stopped but she's still addicted to it so with number nine don't automatically assume don't automatically assume that if you see a woman that drinks or go to bars and and, and shit like this all of the time that um or do drugs that, that that's what they're actively doing it could be you know, war wounds from the past. So understand that. But that's how to spot a, a, a woman in a whole face. Of course, there's always more and I may do another one, another video later, but that's pretty much how you spot a woman in the whole face. So if you see any of these, any of these, and just because you may see one that may, you know, you may can give a motherfucker the benefit, of the benefit of the doubt. But if I see one, one of these, I already know, okay, boom, she ain't, you know, that's jump off material right there. So pay attention to these signs you know and if you see any of this shit uh, you need to keep a mental note of it and you know red flags is red flags and you know don't don't ignore them shits because you're gonna end up what's gonna happen is you end up ignoring and trying to see the good in the motherfucker and then you're gonna end up you're gonna end up trying to put lipstick on a pig you know what i'm saying and that's not good and this video ain't to bash women or or shame women about living their lives and wanting to be free sexually. Hey, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I honestly don't care. This video is to teach you guys how not to turn a hoe into a housewife, pretty much. But if you like the video, man, um, if you found value in the content, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. Um, fresh off the press. Share the video, share the game, turn your people on, turn your cousins on. Follow me on Instagram at get underscore free underscore game. Get the course Attraction 101. Link is in the bio. Join the Facebook group. The link is in the bio. Join the Patreon, man. That's where the, you know, you support the movement. 
Also, if you need coaching, you need a one-on-one -on -one game session, I can change your life. This is what I do. I've been doing this all my fucking life. Playing with women, dealing with women. This is this is my game. This is what I do. I will change your life. Pardon me. So, if, if you need coaching or want to chop it up with me, hit me up on there. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's your boy, King Dre. How to spot a woman in her whole, whole face. I'm gone.